it's been an active role. Uh, my folks uh, got us involved in the youth movement of the United Church right from the get-go. I used to be in the junior choir uh, before my voice changed. Uh, and uh, and uh, we used to go to a group, in fact my mom and dad ran the group, uh, it used to be, it was called the, the Bible study class at 9.30 on Sunday morning. And uh, three of us went. Uh, one was because my dad was running it, so naturally I had to go. And there were two, uh, two others who went, and he said to us, uh, what would we have to do different? And I'd say, well, you've got to make it more relevant. Uh, for example, what if you made it Sunday nights? And what if you changed it from Bible study class to some other name? Maybe some of our friends would come. So uh, we came up with the name Infusers, with the idea that you could infuse your ideas and your work and your enthusiasm into the community. And before you knew it, practically every kid in, in, in Hudson was coming, uh, mostly because uh, it was the only way you could get out on a Sunday night was to say you were going down to Mr. Layton's Bible study class at the church. Uh, but we had, we had all kinds of involvement, and, and he would, uh, uh, and you bring people in and we go out and meet with seniors. I learned of the word octogenarian. I'd never heard of the word before. And we went out and met with, with seniors and, and we'd sing with them or, or bring them things that they needed. And that whole notion of service. So when I say, uh, you know, what, is, what, what do I derive from all of that? It's the concept of service and, uh, and uh, you know, not to miss the opportunity to serve.